Hey guys, it's Lisa, and today I want to unbox two new Louis Vuitton handbags that I have had now for over a month. I know one of them I've had for over a month. The reason I know that is one of them I got for my wedding anniversary. It was our 25th. And then the next one, I was actually on a waiting list. So John said, okay, get that one and make <laughs> make it for Valentine's Day. Every year he says, what do you want? I'm like, no, I've gotten so much, I'm fine. And then something like this comes up. And these both are kind of special bags. I would say limited edition. So I thought I wanted to give them a little bit more attention and show them to you just in case somebody's curious. Okay, this first one is a bag that I have never been interested in as far as the shape. When I went to Colleen Rothschild's party or her little um, anniversary party in Dallas, one of the girls there, Marnie's friend, she had one. And I did kind of notice it. I was like, wow, I really like that bag. And then a few weeks later, the rep from the... Louis Vuitton in Soho. I met him when I was there last year with Zara. We were shopping and I ended up getting a belt that day, but he had helped me a lot with looking at the watch, like their version of the iWatch and all of that stuff. So we kind of connected and he always sends me things that he thinks are pretty and stuff like that. So he sent this to me. I was sitting there at the counter eating my steak. Brooke was sitting beside me. John was out at the grill and this came through and Brooke looked over and said, oh, that looks just like you. And then John came in and he liked it too. So I got it. It is the Cousins bag. And you guys know I am not the best with all the different, you know, handbags, what's a reissue, all of that kind of stuff. I love handbags. I always have. I can remember bags I've had since elementary school. I am not like a collector. I just love handbags. I think they do make an outfit and I just go with it. So this is the cousin's bag and I'm so glad I am getting this out of the box so that I can use it because I don't want my strap to get bent or anything. But what makes this extra special is, you know, I love this color, the light blue, but it's also a little iridescent. And I love that. It is just so fabulous. It's so mermaidy, unicorn. It just has all of those vibes. And then look at the strap. It also has the pink and purple and blue and all of that. And I love this part where it has like the Louis Vuitton on the chain. And let me tell you, this chain is not light. So this is another reason I like to do these handbag reviews and unboxing is because sometimes those things make a difference. With me, it's not that big of a deal. I almost find that a heavy chain like this makes it hang prettier when you put it on your shoulder and you put it crossbody, but you can take this strap off the crossbody and you can adjust it. Now, let's see if I have the paperwork in here. It's the Cousin BB Milky Way Blue. And it doesn't really show the size, but I will, if I can find the exact link, I will put it down below. Cousin BB Milky Way. And I guess the BB, the BB is the size. I think that's it. So I always leave the tags in there. But you can see it's kind of a cool bag. It has that section, then it has the middle section, and then it has the last section. And I love that they're pink. I mean, this bag is just so girly and feminine. And it's leather. It's leather. So that's one of the things that's going to make it a little bit more expensive for a Louis Vuitton bag. I just really love everything about it. And when I was telling you guys in my Florida vlog that I'll put up here, remember when I said I went in the Chanel store and I have been wanting a rectangle flap bag. 
the mini rectangle flap, but the only color they had it in was that light blue. And I knew I had just gotten this and that's why I didn't get it because I think this one is prettier, a little bit more special, and I just can't wait to wear it. He's messaged me and asked me how I liked it and I said, I haven't worn it yet. And he was getting on me about it. So that is what it looks like and I am looking forward to wearing it. I think it's gonna look great with pink, white, beige. You could wear it with black if you want to, but I am going to make it the star of the outfit. Oh my goodness, I just realized that he sent me some fragrance samples. That is so funny because I doubt I'll be this lucky. Ah, I am. Okay, it's uh, Symphony. But what I was going to say is on that same shopping trip to Florida, you know, when I got the little trunk bag, that guy went and got a fragrance and said, you're going to like this. This this is you in a bottle. And the name of it is Spell on You. <laughs> and I did really like it. Matter of fact, I kept the card in my purse, in my silver Gucci bag for the longest time. And then I put it in the car because it smells so good. But it's they're expensive. So I wanted to wear it. So I told myself, next time I go there, I'm going to spray it on. And then I'll see if I like it. So now I get the chance to do that. Thank you. So spell on you. And then rose events. And then I have a couple of these. I have that real popular one, a trap, a trap rev. And then I have a summer one. I need to go through my fragrances and get my summer fragrances out. And maybe we'll do a good video. And then stellar times. So thank you. I did not realize he did that because I've had everything kind of sitting in this box. And for those of you designer handbag lovers, and I know there are a lot out there because I'm not the only one when I go in the stores, do you save every box? It has gotten to the point where I cannot save every box. And then I have to say it's a little overwhelming when you look up there and you don't know what box goes with what. I used to save all of them in case I sold a bag or sold a pair of shoes. And I'm not saying I'm never going to sell a bag or shoes, but it's not as much on my mind anymore. And I have sold plenty of them with no bag or no box. So anyway, okay, so now we come to probably the most popular one, very different from the other. I started looking at this bag months ago, the whole collection, and it's the denim collection. And you guys know I love that. I have a denim Chanel flat bag that I love. And denim is very big for this year. To me, it's very Jessica Simpson, Paris Hilton, very um, 2000s, 90s and 2000s. And I was in Louis Vuitton. This is when I went to Dallas when I went for Colleen's um, event and when I went for that Chanel on that Chanel collection opening. And I went to several different Louis Vuitton stores looking for this bag. And I was actually in Dior and there was a lady that had it. And I said, where did you get that? And she said, I think it was the last one. She said, this is the most popular one out of the collection. It's hard to get. So I messaged a rep that I had in Texas. I messaged the rep that I had in New York and both of them said they would put me on the list. But just for fun and just because I put myself on the notify on the website and little tip, they notified me weeks ahead of the two reps at the store. What do you call them? Shopping assistants, your essay. The website notified me first. So without further ado, oh my gosh, I got this the day we left for Florida. And I knew I had to sign for it and I was so scared I was gonna miss it. And we got it like right before I left. It is the sunset bag in denim. You guys, this is the cutest, most fabulous little bag. It is just, everything I wanted it to be. But what I want to get across is I had several people 
when I mentioned that I love the denim collection, they were like, oh, I'm not paying that much for a denim bag, which I will admit, I am going to list several very good looking bags that are just the same look that are much less expensive, but it's a nice thick denim. It's not like it's just a paper thin denim. It's a thick rigid denim, not too rigid. It's not that it's not going to feel good on, but it's not like it's a bad quality at all. And it has this strap that goes with it. I'm not sure how at this point. Oh, okay. Yeah. I remember I asked a friend of mine, she said, you can put this onto this and then make it look more of a crossbody or I just kind of envisioned carrying it like this. But when you're shopping out of town, all of those things, at an amusement park, all of those things that I'm thinking of now, it would be good to be able to wear it crossbody. But what a precious little bag. I do like like the backpack in this collection. It has, let's see, so it has this interior. And then it has this outside pocket. The buckle is nice and big and heavy and snaps down. And it's just, oh, I just love it. I just love it. I'm crazy about it. Which one do I like the most? They're apples and oranges. I can't compare them. I love the studs on the handle. You know, I kind of missed the whole Louis Vuitton collection that Paris Hilton and Jessica Simpson and all the celebrities had that were either white or black with the multicolor. And for some reason, this reminds me of that. I think it might be the studs on the handle, but I just love it. Now, you might be wondering, what do I even carry in my bag? Let me show you. I've been carrying this bag lately, which is a Chanel 22 medium. And the reason I'm trying to carry it is because I want it to get worked in like that for the summer. But I moved into this a couple of days ago, and this actually has an inner pouch in it, too. This is a good bag. This is a good bag. This is very expensive, too, but I also know some similar lookalikes to that, too. But this is what I carry in my bags. I carry this little Chanel pouch that I got last year, and inside this, I just have cash. I have more cash. I have my lipstick, my lipstick I did with Christian Audet. I have my lip liner. I just put one in here that's um, short, so I can always put on a lip combo. And then I have a little pill box that I only use when I'm out of town because sometimes I load that sucker up with Tylenol or Advil or something because there is something about when I get out of town, it's like as soon as I get off the plane, I get a thumping headache. And I don't want to just put it in my luggage because sometimes I need it when I'm out. And so I will, let's put it in here. I will put this in here. And then I just carry my little Louis Vuitton card holder. And it's the one with the pink. I have my license and other cards in here. And this is actually my key to my car. Plus, it's on my cell phone. So I don't need keys. And my our house always has, you know, all the doors have keypads. And then my phone. So all of that in here. Now, leave a comment down below. Are you someone who has to be able to fit your phone in your bag because it's getting to the point where you never put your phone away. Because even if you're with your family, I noticed this when we were in Universal, that I was constantly taking pictures and looking to see what time it is and, you know, things like that. Now, John, he doesn't keep his out, but, you know, even the kids did taking pictures and stuff. And then if I go shopping or to an event or anything, the only time I really put it in here like sometimes, like say I walk in Ulta or Sephora, but even then, it seems like I end up taking it out to text someone, look at a note that I made, or take a picture of something in the store for you guys. I just end up taking my phone out. So I'm thinking, you know, that was always a thing. Will my phone fit in it? But now I'm thinking it's not quite as important. 
So here it is in all its glory, and it is easy to snap in. So two pretty bags and very, very different. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Ask me any questions down below. Let me know if you've gotten any new exciting bags or if there's any new collections out there. I'm hoping one day soon I'm going to do a, just like a closet tour and show you where I store all of them. And the outfit I have on today is a new one from Revolve that I think a lot of you would like. And my jewelry, I had to get these earrings in silver because they're just so good. And then my Victoria Emerson, that's the collab they did with Mommy's Makeup and Moscato. My Rolex, uh, it's the Tiffany blue watch and my shoes are <laughs> classically time and true from walmart i'm telling you these are worth it yesterday i dug out my tiki's i was looking at all my different flip-flops and i swear they're just as good as tiki's so thank you so much and i will see you in the next video bye-bye